Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. So today I wanted to make a little update video about third parties, especially because I also have a success story to share with you guys that I thought was just, you know, really good to hear maybe kind of like motivates me when I see success stories so if you like this kind of content please make sure you like subscribe um I haven't really been consistently uploading because I've just been in spring cleaning mode and you know how it goes like when it rains it pours there's always something to do and the weather's kind of been you know very up and down it's a weird weird summer this summer so it's been hard to especially do stuff outside Anyway, if you like manifestation content, please make sure you follow me on here and on TikTok and Instagram. TikTok is where I really mostly upload. So let's get right into the video. So I personally have dealt with third parties before, so I know how difficult it can be and how stressful it can be. Now, the success story that I'm gonna reference is uh, somebody else's, so I'm not gonna like go into detail or anything, but I do have permission to share this story. So in that case, um, they were in a full-blown relationship for a while and then things fell apart and this person moved on pretty quickly. Um, and they were like very vocal on social media about how everything is like super great, but you could kind of tell, you know, there was a little something going on. It was just weird all around. So. Basically, in this case, we actually started with tarot, which um, I am fully aware, and I've said this before, that tarot readings are literally just your subconscious, but I find them to be a really, really good tool if you don't know where exactly to start, and if you don't really know, like, what are actually my blockages, and you don't need to know your blockages necessarily, but sometimes, like, my brain is just more prone to accepting affirmations, for example, if I kind of know what's going on or where my issues lie or what exactly I should be affirming for because if I I personally just affirm generally my brain sometimes feels like it's not good enough and then I keep questioning myself changing affirmations and then it just takes infinitely longer to manifest so if you are that kind of person as well I find um doing tarot or just sitting down and <coughs> scripting or journaling um or just taking some time to maybe talk it out with somebody to try and figure out like what where am i actually at like what am i actually discussing saying when i'm not paying attention like what is it that actually bothers me like where am i right now and where do i want to go i find that very helpful and then the next phase we went into was to kind of figure out which manifestation method would be best for this person so which one they prefer because there's someone who you know isn't someone who likes to affirm someone who likes to visualize so we came up with actually just creating screenshots because that's something that you can tangibly touch and look at and so we did that and photoshop them a little bit to kind of represent what that person wanted things to be like and i could tell you know, over time, there was a little bit of just like back and forth, you know, sometimes we take like three steps forward and then 10 steps back. But to me, I was just convinced that, you know, this was going to work. So I kept telling this person, like, you don't have to worry, it's going to work. But I also on the side realized that maybe, you know, they might be stuck in a loop. So I kind of also jumped in and was like, okay, but they don't have free will in my reality. So if they are questioning things, that's just me being worried that they're questioning things. So I changed my viewpoint around on that. So if you are actually helping someone else manifest, it's really helpful. If you are the person manifesting the third party away, it could be helpful to have an accountability buddy to be like, hey, can you help me do this? Because um, remember, yes, you are the only person that has free will in your reality, but you can give your free will away to somebody else. So if you have a friend that you trust that is really good with this, and who really wants this for you, you can have them help you. I've done this with somebody before where I was like, I really just can't stick to it, but I need this done right away. I was just not in a good space and I was like manifesting 10 things at once. So one thing I actually gave away and I was like, I am, you know, conceding my free will for this particular thing. Can you help me get it? And I think it took like less than 24 hours. So that was really, really nice. Like they did the work and I didn't even do like all that much, you know, but it was really like just nice to kind of have that, you know, done and over with and I didn't need to do it. So if you are manifesting for somebody else, you can do it. If you are manifesting for yourself, either stick with what you're doing or see if you can find someone to hold you accountable. And then we just started working with the screenshot and I think it took less than, I wanna say like 24 to 48 hours or so until the first kind of signs kept coming in. And then I did do another tarot reading just to kind of confirm 
that what we were seeing was making progress. But this is why, you know, a lot of coaches will tell you that it really doesn't have to take very long. Like if you are very faithful and consistent in your new story, there is nothing that can stop you. One thing that was a little bit of a turning point was when they um, that particular person stopped checking the 3D. So before that, they were very consistently checking the social media. Um, once they stopped doing that, movement came in a lot quicker. So if you are someone who is dealing with a third party and you're obsessively checking like what they're doing, what they're up to, and you know, is there a new update? Like, is my manifestation working? Those things are all things that will definitely hold you back. And I see this so many times where people are commenting things and like, I'm doing everything right. Like, I don't understand, but it's still not working. Like, I see them posting all the time. They just went on vacation. Like, if you are doing it correctly, why would you even know? Why are you aware that they're posting? Why are you aware that they just went on vacation? Because if you had your person and the third party moved on with somebody else or went somewhere else or whatever the case may be, you would not be bothered by what they're doing. You wouldn't even know. So this absolutely makes no sense. Um, and I think that's also where you kind of need to check yourself a little bit and really hold yourself accountable. And give yourself some tough love and be real with yourself. Like, are you really doing everything you need to be doing in order to remove the third party? Are you doing your techniques consistently? Are you keeping your thoughts in check? Are you keeping your conversations in check? Are you checking the 3D or not? You know, are you actually manifesting correctly what you want? Like if you are someone who, for example, has problems with feeling like the third party will just go away without somebody else being in the picture, which just reminded me of another success story, by the way. Um, are you then making sure that this person is actually, you know, finding somebody else so they can move away and you can have your person or whatever? So you really need to ask yourself, am I really doing everything correctly? Because a third party is similar to you manifesting $5 or you manifesting like a cup of coffee. There's absolutely no difference. So what is it that you want? Where are you at? Where are you planning to go? Do you have your techniques like set up and ready to go? Do you know how to do them correctly? Okay, are you keeping your thoughts in check during the day? Are you keeping a good mental diet? Those are all the things that you need to do in order to get there. But if you think about it, like in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that hard. I've said this, I think, on TikTok before. I actually have a list of like 30 things I'm manifesting. I actually did a video about this too, I believe, on here. Um, and I read it like twice a day, like once in the morning, once in the evening. And stuff is just coming to me. Like, I don't even remember what's on the list because I I've always done lists. Like, I just, my like brain just loves lists. Um, and then when stuff comes in, sometimes it even takes me a minute to be like, oh yeah, wait, that was on my list. So I just manifested that. Because during the day, I don't concern myself with what is on my list because I don't need to. It's already done. Why would I? It's almost just like making a to-do list that I'm checking off. Um, I did call my list things I already manifested. So that does help my brain get to where I want to be. And then I have actually a program read it to me. Like I'm not even reading it myself anymore. I'm too lazy at the moment. I'm just too tired. So I'm not even paying attention. I have it read to me once in the morning, once in the evening. And so far it's going. I haven't ticked anything off of the list yet because to me, all of that is like consistently going. Like I made goals of like, you know, this is happening every week, every month, every day, whatever the case may be. So I'm just waiting for it to become an assumption because one thing I also noticed was there was something on my list that I started manifesting. I got amazing progress in the shortest amount of time. And then I was like, oh yeah, whatever. And I kind of fell off. Turns out even after I think a week of consistent affirming, this is when I was still reading it to myself, I stopped and the assumption had not taken hold. It did not replace my old assumption. And guess what? I not only went back to the place I was before, I actually ended up worse than I was before. So then I was like, okay, I got to get back on the wagon. Did that for, I think, two days. And I instantly, you know, went back up and my manifestation came back and it has been unfolding consistently ever since. So if you are doing that with a third party. Yes, I know it can sometimes feel like it would be helpful to see progress, but chances are there's probably so much going on in the background, which is where my next success story is going to come in, that you don't even realize and see that checking and not seeing instant results will probably like literally push you off track. And that's exactly what you don't want. You want to be able to be consistent and stay on track. And that is only possible if you are fully like delusionally living in your new reality and that can only be achieved by ignoring everything you see outside of yourself so i'll give you another success story of someone they were in a situation with somebody and they basically didn't want 
um, full commitment. So they were like, okay, whatever, what like can I do? So I was like, okay, how about we just manifest someone new for them? Um, and I wasn't even like thinking from a terms of like has to be someone new. I think I like suggested manifesting someone that would be a good fit for them. Um, and this person has been in that situation for quite some time. Like we're talking several months. And not too long ago, they literally had a conversation out of nowhere where this person was like, you know, I kind of like have to admit something to you. Like there's this person that I was talking to, you know, a long time ago. And then I stopped talking to them. And then, you know, I met you, but this person like keeps coming in and out. And I feel like if you and I don't work out, like I would kind of go back to this person. I don't know. And they were just having this conversation. And the other person thought that they would be like really upset, but the person that was manifesting it, they were like excited. But then when they came back to me and told me about this, it didn't even click to them that they manifested that because that was like a little bit ago. I think it was like a couple months, not a couple months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, but we didn't like consistently stick with it. We just made the decision that that was going to happen. And in this case, it was easy because there was no emotional attachment. So I told them like, just make the decision that they're going to find somebody else um, when you do decide to leave them and make it easy on you. Which is also my advice, by the way, if you're in a difficult situation where you feel like you can't leave, manifest them leaving for somebody else. There is nothing easier that can happen to you. Um, fun fact, I've actually done it before in a situation where I felt I couldn't leave. So I actually manifested them leaving and they literally left one night and never came back. And I was like literally falling on my knees, like praising Jesus. Um, this was like before I really understood what I was doing. I was just dabbling back into manifestation after, you know, being in Christianity for a long time, like the not so good kind. Um, so they were literally just like, oh my God, like this person just said that if, if we were to no longer be, um, they would already have a replacement. I was like, yeah, because you manifested that because you asked for that. Um, and the funny thing was they were like, well, but I don't really know because I didn't we like manifest for them to find someone good. Cause I don't really like this person. I was like, but wait a minute, that's not, not your concern. We manifested for them to find somebody that is good for them. And seeing as you don't feel like you're a good fit for them, like this person might be a better fit because you just don't mesh that well. So I thought that was kind of funny that they were like, well, I thought, you know, like they didn't like that person, but that's okay. You don't have to like that person, especially if this is not someone you want to keep like around or in your life. And, you know, clearly there's something going on. And this person that they were in a situation with is someone that was very honest, very straightforward. So the fact that they did not say this before is a very clear sign of jumping realities because this person did not exist in the person that was manifesting that like they didn't exist in a reality before so they never were brought up but now the person that was you know manifesting getting out of that situation ship chose another version of that person that they were in a situation ship with that had somebody else in the background lined up basically waiting for them to be free because apparently this person has been like checking in like are you still seeing this person whatever so they've been kind of like consistently checking in um and again this is something that i know for a fact from what i've heard um would have came up prior if that were a thing because they had a very open and honest situation it was just that this person just didn't want to let that other person go that easily you know sometimes how it goes so i thought it was just funny that you know this was a such a blatant just a display of how things change overnight and there's things that are going on in the background and we're choosing versions of people one day and then a different version of them the next day that sometimes you are just not aware of and you just don't see and you could literally wake up one morning and have the exact result that you want coming to you in ways that you won't even expect like they did not expect this conversation to even be a thing at all and here we are and they're like much better for it now so just remember that, and I really have to stress this, that everything is being held in your reality because you're allowing it to be. And if you are not focusing on things, yes, they will go away. But sometimes you just have to focus on, on a third party. And it doesn't even have to be that you're working with them or that you have to see them for some reason. Sometimes our brain just will not allow us to ignore them or not think about them. And that is totally fair. And I don't think it should just be ignored. And, you know, you just be given the advice of like, oh, just ignore them and they'll go away. Because if your subconscious is so ingrained with this third party existence or you attracting third parties in general, then pretending like they're not there is not going to make them go away. 
because realistically it's always going to be in the back of your head even if you do end up manifesting your specific person back and you're in a relationship you're always going to wonder are they on their phone are they talking to them like what is up are they do they still want my person back it's always going to be an issue unless you create a situation where it is no longer an issue and manifesting them away being with somebody else or doing whatever it is that you feel like you need to do is totally okay and there is nothing wrong with that if you feel like you need to take that extra step and put a little bit of more energy into it now so you have more peace later on. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions as always, please leave me a comment down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I always love to hear um, video suggestions as well. I do have a list of things I want to film so I will just add them in and just because I'm not filming like that video that you suggested right after the next one doesn't mean that it's not on a list and that I'm not paying attention. Um, like I said, make sure you follow me on my other social media. I do also have a tarot TikTok, by the way, and I will be um, setting up a tarot YouTube again in the future as well. So that's all coming. Uh, coaching is currently still closed. Tarot readings are currently still closed. I'm trying to figure out like there's something with the website. I'm not sure how to fix that yet, but I will fix it eventually. Um, so that is also on my to-do list. So I will be offering that up really soon. You can also follow me on my Snapchat. I will be answering questions on there. If you have any on my public Snapchat, everything is linked down below, by the way. So you can do that. And one thing I also love to do is leave me a comment on TikTok. I love to do videos um, answering your questions. If you have any questions, make sure you make them like a little bit more general so that everybody can benefit from it. it makes it easier for me to kind of reply to things. But that's like one of my favorite things to do. It's very easy for me to do like during the day, even if I'm like just doing a load of laundry or something, I can just hop on there and do quick videos. So make sure you definitely follow me on those accounts and I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend.